So in the very first question of worksheet number three, we have the question asking how many ethanol must be added to one liter of water so that the solution would not freeze at neg negative 20 degrees Celsius. Let me find other units here. And, um, and we know that it is a freezing point depression problem because normally the freezing point of water is at zero degrees Celsius. And we are trying to push it down to negative 20 degrees Celsius. So we can make use of the formula listed on the top of the worksheet. to calculate what is the amount of the ethanol needs to be added. Now, we are not going to calculate the, uh, the mass of ethanol added directly. It's a step-by-step -step procedure. Because in this equation, we don't have mass. This small letter M is not mass, it's molality. So make sure you keep that in mind, this is molality. Yes, they are the same small letter M, but it is your knowledge to differentiate that this is not the mass, but the molality. molality. So, since the change, okay, is the change of the freezing point is negative 20 degrees Celsius. This is not the temperature, it's the change of the temperature. And for ethanol, the Wenthal factor is 1 because it does not dissociate. And the freezing point depression constant for water is 1.86. Let me write down the units, so it is going to be degrees Celsius per molar, and we have the molality right here. So keep that in mind, this is a variable, molality. This is a unit, molar. And yes, they are the same small little m, but you just have to make sure they are different, and they cannot be canceled out in this uh, calculation. So we can calculate the molality by simply having 20 degrees Celsius divided by this constant. So let me do it quickly. 20 divided by 1.86. So we have 10.75 molar for the uh, ethanol solution. That is the uh, concentration in molality for the ethanol. Now how does this number is going to help us? Well, if you remember, the molality is the number of moles of solute over kilograms of solvent. And here we have the molality. Do we have the kilograms of solvent? Well, we have the volume of the solvent. And we know that the, water, the density of water is one gram per mil. And for one liter, we have 1,000 milliliter. And that also means that we have 1,000 gram. And if you convert that, we have one kilogram. So that is a very nice calculation to do. So molality is 10.75 molal. We don't know the number of moles. That's what we're trying to find out and we have one kilogram. So just use your hand, not even use a calculator. You can find out that the number of moles is 10.75 moles. That is the number of moles of the solute, which is the ethanol. And with this number of moles, we can find out that we can find out the mass of ethanol. I was using shorthand for the ethanol, so this is ethanol, this is ethanol. Uh, we have 10.75 moles of ethanol, and then the molar mass of ethanol is 46 grams per mole. So 46 grams of ethanol, one mole of the, uh, one more of the ethanol. So we can simply use a calculator to calculate. So it turns out that we would need 495 
grams of ethanol to make sure that the solution will not freeze at negative 20 degrees Celsius. We need at least this amount. So this is how we make use of this equation to find out the mass. It is a step-by-step -step procedure. You will not get the answer right away. So make sure you can, you're, you're able to relate different quantities, the moles, the molality, and eventually the mass.